A very good morning to class 7th. Here is Kaushalya Raj Prohit, your social science teacher. And today we are going to discuss chapter 4, State Government. State Government. The government functions at three levels, the central, state and local levels. The state government also consists of three branches, legislature, executive and the judiciary. The legislature makes the law that govern a state. The executive implements the law and the judiciary assures that they are protected. Every government fulfills legislature, executive and administrative functions. Today we are going to see how state government functions. Right? So state legislature. State legislature is the body that makes laws for the state. In some states, the legislature consists of two houses like Vidhan Sabha and Vidhan Parishad that is Legislative Council and Legislative Assembly. The states where there are two houses are called bicameral legislature and those that have one house are called unicameral legislature. Legislative Council The Legislative Council or Vidhan Sabha is the permanent house and its tenure is six years. The members are elected from various areas. Some members of Vidhan Parishads are indirectly elected by the MLAs, some by local bodies, some by high school teachers, graduates, etc. Some members are nominated by the governor from among the artists, literature, social work and so on. Now the next house is Legislative Assembly. Legislative Assembly which is also known as Vidhan Sabha is the lower house of the assembly. Its members are directly elected by the people. The members are called MLAs that is member of Legislative Assembly. All the states do not have the same number of MLAs. Rajasthan has 200 MLAs and MP has 230 MLAs. The total number of MLAs that is member of legislative assembly depends upon the total number of population. The constitution has set up maximum number of MLAs as 500 and minimum as 40 to 60. The life of an assembly is normally 5 years. But during emergency and vote of non-confidence against the government, it may be dissolved earlier. What are the qualifications to be member of a legislative assembly? The minimum age for to be a member of legislative assembly is 25 years. It, he, he or she should not be holding any post of profit in the government, should have sound mind, and he or should has not been convicted by court with imprisonment of the two years or more. So these are the qualification to be member of a legislative assembly. Leaders. The speaker or the deputy speaker is elected by the MLAs from among themselves. He or she controls the proceedings of the house and ensures order. The speaker can adjourn the house for a short while or for the rest of the session, right? So speaker or the deputy speaker is elected by the MLAs among themselves, right? And he or she controls the proceeding of the house and ensures the order. From bill to act. The process of making and passing law is legislature as we have already discussed. Now, the house where this takes place is known as legislature. The function of legislative assembly is making of the law under the state list subjects like agriculture, trade and commerce and education and presenting the budgets. The law for the whole nation are enacted in the parliament. Similarly, the law for applicable only in a particular state are enacted in the legislature of that state. Making of the law. First is introducing a bill. Draft of the law is prepared and presented in the legislature. This is called a bill. Bills are of two types, ordinary bills and money bills. From bill to law. 
After detailed discussion, the bill is put to vote in the house. From one house, it goes to the other house and then it is sent to the governor. The governor can send it back to the house with suggestion of the changes, right? So, this is how a bill turns into an act, into a law. State, state functionaries, executives, the governor, the chief minister and the council of minister form the executive department. The governor is the constitutional head of the state. The entire administration runs in his name. The governor is appointed by the President of India on the advice of Prime Minister. Tenure is 5 years and can be reappointed. Qualification for a person to be a governor, he must be citizen of India, completed 35 years of age, should have a sound mind, should not be convicted in a court of law. Powers of the Governor No actual power. The governor appoints the chief minister and chief minister up and appoints the council of minister. On the opening day of the assembly session, the governor addresses the joint session to brief about the policies of the government. Can recommend, can recommend president's rule in the state. The governor can run the state on the behalf of the president. So, the governor has very minimal powers. Chief Minister The leader of the party which has the majority in assembly is appointed as the chief minister by the governor. The chief minister selects the ministers from among his or her colleagues in the legislature. This minister forms the council of minister or the state cabinet. Council of minister It is the executive body of the state. It advises the governor on the important issues and takes all the policy decisions. The chief minister allocates the portfolios or the departments to the ministers. The senior minister forms the cabinet and most of the decisions are taken by the CM and the cabinet. Civil services. Now, the decision of the ministers are actually executed by the officer of civil service, that is the administrative service of the state. <coughs> they are the ones who run the administration at the state level. In the same way as it is done in the center, the state's public service commission, that is PSC, also selects certain number of officials. The chief secretary had the civil service in the state. The secretaries in charge of the various departments work under him or her. Deputy secretaries, under secretaries, directors, deputy directors assess them. The state is divided into administrative units called divisions, which are looked after by divisional commissioner. These in turn are divided into district and administrated by district magistrate. Advocate General each state has an official called Advocate General who gives advice to executive on the legal matters and perform other legal functions assigned by the governor. He or she is again appointed by the governor and holds office during the pleasure of the governor. Only a person qualified to be a high court judge is eligible for the post. The Advocate General can take part in the proceeding of the state legislature but does not have the right to vote. It is necessary for smooth working of these bodies that all the citizens cooperate in administrative processes. Thus, in this chapter we learn that a legislature having both legislature assembly and legislature council are called bicameral while those having only the legislature assembly are called unicameral. The common people are only indirectly involved in the elections of the cons to the council. Vidha Sabha is composed of representatives directly elected by the people. The law applicable in the state are enacted in the legislature of that state. The governor, chief minister, council of ministers, civil servants and advocate general are some important government functionaries at the state level. So, I hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.